Thanks for clicking. You tuned in the time in with me, Ricardo Longus. With me, as always, is the Samba loving Tommy Crenshaw. How you doing, Tommy? Oh, yeah, love me some Samba. I love uh, the waltzes, and I like the Caribbean, the soca music. You go down there, the Caribbean, and they've got the it's like soul eclipse, so it's kind of like dance hall, something you can shake your booty to. Uh, to get a few swirlies in you. Uh, you, uh, to, uh, you know, make sure your, your, your wife is with you. If you're not, uh, be careful because there's a lot of people that are going to uh, try to take advantage of you. Uh, because uh, they can tell that you're not used to dance into their rhythms. That's how they spot people that are not from there. Well, yeah, it's a melting pot down in the in the Caribbean. I know what they were talking about. Uh, Samba, but Soka is the is the is one is the up and coming one. And get yourself some fish with the bones in it, and then uh, have somebody have to perform the Heimlich on you, and then you throw up on your sister in law's wig. And uh, yeah, sorry, but anyway, yeah, okay, uh, keep going. I kind of got a little I mean, side. I, know, I, I think I think I got over into like a little uh, uh, knowledge hole that, that I could we weren't going to be able to get out of. I, it seemed like, but we got what we also have with us is Mister Anthony North, a man who loves his punk rock. Hey, Ricardo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got all the way back to Black Flag. I saw him in D.C. with John Goodman uh, back in the day before Roseanne was on the air. And uh, we, man, we were rocking out. That guy could drink some beer. I got to tell you, I think I probably was on like beer number 32 while he was on 60. I mean, that guy made Wade Boggs look like a a, a washed up uh, old rag. Uh, but I, I tell you what, man, uh, let, let's go get some uh, punk rock shows on on the calendar. Hey, I mean, you know me, I, I like classical jazz personally. You know, oh, I yeah. just like something I can sit back and relax to. You know, that punk music is a little, it's a little high strong for me. I, it's just a little, little, little up there. You know, I might, I might take it a nice samba. You know, I, you know, me something I can you know dance with a nice lady. It's hard, hard, it's hard to dance. Well, lady, we we with the punk music. In my I mean, opinion, I'm, so I'm trying to find you like a a good like classical jazz punk band. But they got uh, they got oh, they got they got oh, punk that, that punk nice. jazz. Punk jazz is great. Yeah, you get up there and they, they, you know you, you think it's gonna be a nice tuxedo evening, and then they rip their shirts off, and then they they're slapping people in the face with shoes. Uh, it's a great. Oh, I mean, way of- you know, hey, hey, I mean, you know, personally, you know, it's not really my my thing, but you know, I mean, I'll you know, I'll, I'll try. You know, we 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 can take in the show. We can see what's going on. But you know, talking about taking in shows, yo yo yo, the great show that is basketball. You know, basketball season's going on right now. You know, and, and, and you know, yo yo, you when you when you enter the NBA, when you enter the league. You know, sometimes you get drafted. Sometimes you get, you know, you go undrafted. Uh, uh, sometimes you stay with the same team for a long time. They like you. Sometimes you stay with the, that team a very short time and, and, and because you're easily traded. And that, that's what I want to talk about. Let's talk about guys who are played for the most NBA teams. Who, who, who we got? Who we got? Well, I mean. The, the guy on my list is uh, Ish Smith. I mean, look look at what this guy's doing right now. I mean, you know, p- filling in a little bit for the Wizards, uh, but who hasn't he filled in for? I mean, this guy's on, like, team number 12 in, like, uh, I don't know, like 11 years, I think, something like that. I mean, come on. He's played for basically uh, every team in America. Um, but we still, we still got a few. There's there's few franchises, for some reason, uh, that haven't taken a chance on this guy yet. So Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean you know, uh, the Nets, you know, the Brooklyn's, you know, they're, they're getting all types of people right now. I mean, he could go up to the Nets. I mean, I don't know why they don't want him. You know, I mean, he, he, could, he could go down to, uh, what, the, did he play for, well, he already played for the Falcons. So we got to go, we got to go for the Knicks. But they, he, but he they, they the played the Falcons. Yeah, yeah, he but, went but, down yeah. and hung out, at, like, hung out for Mardi Gras. He was there for like, I don't know, about 27 nights or so. Uh, I don't yeah. think he remembers most of them. But, yeah. uh, you know, they shipped him to Philly. I mean, every, every, anyone that's uh, just out of line in New Orleans usually ends up in Philly anyway. Yeah, yeah, but they, here's the thing. You're talking about the Pelicans, and they went from the Hornets to the Pelicans. They, we, 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 do you count those two teams? I mean, it's uh, two different jerseys you're going to have. Uh, I mean, it's two different yeah. jerseys. You know, I mean that. I mean, well, I, it, it, it's the same people, same, same, I guess. But you know, I mean, it's two different jerseys. So you know, you got that's your jersey. You yeah, know? yeah. Anytime the name on the check changes, that's a that's a team change. 
So if, if it goes from the Pelicans uh, to the Hornets to the Bobcats to, you know, uh, whatever you want to call them, yeah. you know, that, that's a team change. Well, when the name on the that, check changes, that's a team change. Yeah, but does that – okay, so you got uh, – say you're playing uh, for the Hornets, the New Orleans Hornets. They, well, here's one. They, okay, you could play for a lot of teams and just be playing in two cities, technically, I guess. Uh, but uh, when uh, New Orleans went to Oklahoma City, so you had – after Katrina, they went up there – uh, pissed uh, off a lot of people in New Orleans because they wear Oklahoma City on their shirts. Uh, a lot of confusion up there uh, before they stole uh, Seattle's team. Uh, they, but they, uh, so if you went to like uh, the, the Hornets, then Katrina happened, you go play Oklahoma City, then you stay for the Pelicans. So that's three teams, and then you get traded uh, the, uh, back to the, no, you'd have to go and play for the Bobcats. And then they become, you play for three different Hornets teams. Uh, it's quite possible somebody could play for more than 30 teams, is my point. And that's what we're trying to get at. Yeah, yeah. Is who's going to be the one? a long time, and that jump shot's got to be uh, pretty. That jump shot's well, got to be pretty good. You well, know? It, that, it, it just has to be decent. You don't have to have like the best jump shot. Jump shot. You, I mean, you just, yeah, I mean, you just, you, you got to have a jump shot that that comes in. You know, you know, you know, like, hey, it is you. Uh, I'm open. Bam. Hey, I hit it. Yay! And yo, that that's the jump shot you need. Like, you don't, you don't need the jump shot. That you know, that's winning baskets because you can't yeah, jump around. You, got a good you can't jump there. around if that happens. Well, you know? Or you got to be a good yeah. a, a, a defensive player because that's an uncommon. That's like a leprechaun. Uh, what do you call it? Something that's uh, a rare, a, myth, a mythical creature, a unicorn. Yeah, a unicorn. What do they call like a Wall Street? Those uh, companies that come out of nowhere and they perform very well. They're called like uh, they're called leprechauns. A uh, day. So you you. You're basically a leprechaun. You're going to get shifted around. And maybe uh, you're a leprechaun. You don't even play for the Celtics, which would be ironic uh, because it's a t- – t- I mean, how do you name it a, t- a team after a leprechaun uh, when basketball is full of tall people for the most part? Like, hey, how hey, you, hey, how you how you name how you name a uh, team after a pair of pants? I mean, what what are we going at here, Tommy? Yeah, you know, I mean, you got dude. a pair of pants. You got you got uh, uh, you know uh, leprechauns. I mean, what you uh, you got bobcat? Bobcats can't play basketball. This 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 line of questioning makes no sense anyway. What are we talking about here? No, dude, I knew a guy back in Scarsdale, Jacoby and Smicky, who made uh, artistic pants for people. And they weren't like celebrities, but they were kind of like, you know, every town has got its own like level of celebrities. You know, the guy that owns a local pub, stuff like that. Uh, he sell uh, handmade pants for about, you know, 400 clams. This is back in 87. I mean, you do the math there. I'm just saying, dude, uh, you know, and this is New York. New York takes pants seriously. Uh, it's a, it's a pant loving uh, city, a pant loving state. Well, that's because it's always so freaking cold. You don't have a choice but to wear about 10 pairs of pants. So, I mean, I, I guess I understand where you're going with this. Uh, I never really understand where you're going with anything. But, uh, but yeah, sure, sure, pants. Yeah, under, pants are underrated. I mean, what would we do as a society without pants? We'd like a bunch we, of- we would probably wear uh, shorts or pantaloons all the time. I mean, that's, that's probably what it would be, like shorts. You got short pants. No, but that's, that's what yeah, Knickerbocker like is. We just wear those big puffy pants, the ones that yeah, go down yeah, to yeah. your, and, you know, the knickers. We, we that's, what they the, that's what they are. That's what they are. That's right. We'd be the knickers. Yeah. And, that, and that's the only team that's really, truly got a great name in basketball is the, the New York Knickerbockers. But uh, any anyone else, I mean, every uh, all the names are trash. I, I, just, I, I like to call them the pants. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. The New York pants. But hey, yo, 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 we, hey, that's near the head. I, mean, we got, I we got, got a great question. Line. Has Ish has uh, Ish Smith uh, played for the pants yet? He did uh, not. He has not played for the pants. He needs to play for the pants. I mean, that that should be number thirteen. We got to get him to the Knicks. Hey, 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 sports world out there, Knicks people, get Ish to the Knicks. Well, I yeah, mean, yeah. Hey, it even sounds right. Ish to the Knicks. Ish to the Knicks. It, it rolls off the tongue. Yeah, and, and that's all of a sudden going to make the team that much better. Uh, the, uh, the sky has been falling in that organization for 30 years. Uh, ever since uh, Patrick Ewing left the, uh, the howled uh, graces of the uh, uh, MSG, which uh, I don't know why you give it that nickname because it sounds like the stuff you put in Chinese food. And Manto Pseudo Glodomate. I mean, it makes stuff taste better. It, it's good. That's what that's what Madison Square, uh, Square Garden does. But it makes things better. Right, but they're not doing it. They're not doing it. 
Uh, that's why you got other p- things doing, like the concerts and uh, and the boxing things and yeah, that, yeah, that, I mean, that, 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 that yeah, yeah, all that stuff. You can catch Billy Joel there, but you can't find a good basketball team. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And that's, you know, I, love, I like me a good B- Billy Joel concert too. I mean, uh, Billy Joel, you know, he's nice. You know, I can sit back, yeah, relax, yeah. don't have to worry about too much. Yeah, the Billy Joel concert, it's a good time. You know what cursed him? We're not letting Spike Lee go back into his entrance. Yeah, Spike Lee went going into his private entrance for like 30 years. And one day they said, too bad, pal. And he didn't want to be like this pretentious guy. He's just like, you guys could have given me a phone call. It just oh, give me a phone call, something like that. I mean, Spike Lee is New York. He's a celebrity of mag, 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 how do you say the mag? The Magnificent mag, quarters. Yes. Yeah, that's what it is. So, uh, yeah, they kicked him out and it's like the curse of the goat. Uh, the Billy Goat in Chicago or the Billy Pen. He's like the Billy of New York. He's changed his name. Cursed the team. That's what I do. I say your team's cursed. He said Brooklyn said, hey, come over here. We're going to give you carte blanche. And he said, no, I can't do it. He's loyal to his team. Uh, duh. Yeah, anyway, so I'm just babbling here. I would even want to bring something up there. Well, there's baseball. Baseball players, uh, do, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys that have been on like, you know, there, what, 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 there's what, 30? How many teams? Here? Baseball's what, 32? T- is it th- the 30 teams? Yeah, um, I think that's yeah, right. I mean, they're all teams. obsessed with 30. I mean, every, all the leagues have like 30 the NFL's or 32, 32 teams. Yeah, the NHL, nobody, uh, nobody ever, you know, they, oh, there's a new NHL team every couple of years. They got to learn a new team. But, uh, dude, these guys are like, oh, uh, your pitchers. Pitchers go around and, uh, it's because they fluctuate their careers fluctuate, but then you got like a Kenny Lofton that goes in there. My, my point is, is that in baseball, you even got uh, 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 one of the Cologne brothers uh, went down to Mexico because uh, he didn't get signed by anybody. He's still playing for the love of the game. And I, I think basketball is just different. You're not going to have your aces. You're not going to have your guards, which basically the pitcher of, uh, they used to be the center, but now it's, uh, the guards are the pitcher of basketball and uh they're not you know chris paul has only been with about what seven teams yeah it's because the nba wouldn't let him trade you know to the lakers they uh they said they were going to be too good or whatever it was i you know making making up nonsense Uh, but uh but yeah i mean i guess you could say like a lot of mlb guys they play for like 13 14 teams so uh, NBA's behind. The guys are like, uh, they're all like Team 11, 12. I mean, NBA's like an in infancy compared to Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball has been around, you know, 1800s. Uh, you know, bas- basketball doesn't go back quite so far. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta let them catch up. And, and I'll tell you what, you the New York about? has got to get with the program. The, this team's blackballing, uh, veteran, uh, t- players that, that, uh, travel the world. And, and, you know, they're trying to find all these, you know, uh, un- unknown, unseen, uh, come on, give guys like Ish Smith a chance. Come on, New York. Well, yeah, you're saying basketball hasn't been around that long? You ever learned about the uh, Mesoamerican cultures where they would, like, uh, throw human heads through, like, stone circles? It's been but, around. But, that, but, yo, but, Tommy, that wasn't a professional league. I mean, there, there wasn't any, like, like you know, coaches or managers or anything like that. It, you, it was just a free-for-all. It's just fun for the kids. That, yeah. th- this this thing what they're, they're like you yeah, we're talking about established leagues. Yeah, that, yeah. NBA has been records. around since 1946, Tommy. But I don't Major think baseball has been around for like almost a, a century before. Yeah. That. Well, I just I'm sorry. I got to say this, Ricardo. I don't think children were throwing heads around. Oh, back I, in yeah. them times, I mean, it was a kids' game. What are you talking about? That when the kids weren't throwing heads in there. What are you talking about? You can see like in the ancient writings and the little and the uh, the, the things on the cave walls and stuff. You see the it's the kids, the kids with their yeah, heads they, and putting in the in the basket. Yeah, yeah the world yeah, was supposed where the to three end. Three point shot came from. Yeah, I, I remember that uh, story quite quite well. Uh, yeah, okay. Kid, yeah. kid had like this amazing follow through and, and just kept going back and back and back and back. And, and then, you know, David Stern heard about it and uh, brought it to the NBA. Uh, you know, and it goes back to the, uh, you know, the aboriginals. Okay. Exactly. I'm going I'm to go a little, I'm going to go a little off track here for something that I'm thinking about watching guys been rooms and stuff like that. Uh, just standing barely on your toes and you could fix, uh, the, you know, Lurch did it with uh, Dallas. Um, do do we what, if if they change the basketball would it make it more difficult if the basketball was larger or smaller? Oh, uh, I, would, I would say, I'd say, I'd say larger. I, I gotta say, 
I'm Boom. going with smaller because all the NBA players they got big old hands. They got gigantic hands, and it's hard to get your roll with that with that you know the, the, the tiny little ball. You, you get that bigger ball, you can still get the roll. It just got to put a little bit more umph on it. I mean, they they just got to work on the upper body. But small balls, you 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 can't work with small balls when it comes to it comes to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, NBA players do not like their balls small. Uh, they, that's what I heard. Uh, they, it's like they make a, it's, you go to a carnival. You know, they, you go out to Union City and go hang out at the carnival when it comes to town. And there's, uh, the, you know, it's hard to get the basketball shot. And I'm not talking about globetrotter stuff here. I mean, uh, football's experimented. The AFL had a different kind of football. The CFL, their football's weird. Uh, it's almost like a medicine ball that they're throwing around, looking like cartoon characters. But they, uh, the, I, I just think that maybe they should invest in trying to do something with the ball because you want to make the, the game harder. Like, it's become too easy for guys. Like, they're just po- uh, hitting up threes. You know, some guys that have almost like a 50% three throw uh, percentage. I mean, a three-point percentage. You know, and they're hitting, most guys are hitting in the 80% uh, of, of free throws. Free throws should not be that easy to make. So maybe you bring out a free throw ball that's different, like a pigeon wedge or something. I'm just, I, I, guys, fellas, I'm just Yeah, I mean, that's, that's not really a problem I've ever thought of. I, I thought it was a good thing when guys were good at basketball, but uh, let's make it harder so that guys like, uh, you know, uh, Shaq and, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, Quampo and, you know, these these guys who struggle to hit the rim on a free throw, make it harder for them. That, that, they, and I think actually that'd be kind of funny. So I like that idea. I, I think the ball should be heavier, uh, slippier. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Should kind of have like the indentures of a yeah. cantaloupe be sort of uh, awkward right. in, in some places and mushy. Uh, I'd like to see that. So, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know if I agree with you when you said put Astro Glide on it, but uh that's just a little weird, but uh, yeah, I think uh, maybe. I mean, maybe yeah, 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 heard that, it, let's leave that out of here. Go, go. Hey, hey, you heard it here first, folks. The NBA is going to put out uh, Astro Glide covered cassava melons for the free throws now. And that's the end of the game. Thanks for clicking. You tuned in the time in with me, Ricardo Lungus. With me is Anthony North and Tommy Crenshaw. TTF it. <laughs>